you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome make sure you hit that like button so that I know you're interested in this type of video also make sure you hit that notification bell and that subscribe button while you're at it so that you don't miss any other videos I have coming your way all right so if you're anything like me you are wondering what in the world is low voltage so we'll start here with your just kind of like a base overview of what low voltage even is thank you is we are kind of in a nutshell hardwired internet and cable lines right setting you up for the ability to do that okay uh we do mounted tv preparation right okay. make it look like you have a floating tv on your wall mm -hmm. right security sound and home control try to make this as painless as possible it looks very intimidating it's not i promise okay and a lot of this stuff can be breezed over with a question or two okay, okay? like okay. entire sec we met with our homeboy wes with acs security systems he's contracted with our builder and he suggested that we meet up at our model home for the floor plan that we are building just so we can get an idea of placement for certain items and things that we may be interested in so here you see west is sitting us down to basically go over all of the details the pricing and what really pertains to us when it comes to low voltage so certain amount of items that come standard in your home not a whole lot right but that's what we're here for right just to kind of set you up for the ability to do things in the future the most important thing to do during construction is going to be pre-wiring, right? Okay. Making sure you got the wires in certain places. Right. Actual equipment itself, less important, right? Mm -hmm. That's more about how do you want to pay for it than anything, right? Okay. Do you want to wrap it into the total price of your home or do you want to do it out of pocket sometime down the road? Got right? it. Okay. But the reason pre-wiring is going to save you a lot of money. You're not spending a million dollars in labor for somebody to run up through your attic and dig through your drywall and do all of that. Got right? it. Okay. The first section was structured wiring, which included internet hard wiring, flat TV preps to the walls, the tubing that was behind the wall for the TV course to fall through, any type of projector, satellite pre-wiring, and standard electrical outlets and any additional outlets that we wanted throughout the home. Here we have it a little bit closer. It's that bowl that looks like it's stuck to the ceiling. Okay. okay. Now for the time being, it's just going to be a pre-wire. Okay. Now all that means is it's gonna be the same size as an electrical outlet faceplate, mm -hmm. no plugs on it. Okay. Right? The wire is gonna be hidden behind it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now all a Wi-Fi access point is is a hardwired internet booster. Okay. Wireless cameras. We do wireless security and we do hardwired security and all that, but we mm -hmm. never go wireless on cameras because then you gotta get up there unless it's solar powered and change batteries. Right. Right. So Again, something to think about there. Okay. Um, our camera pre-wiring is going to be the last option. 600 for four locations. Okay. That's what by any means. Now, with hardwired cameras, you have a couple different ways to do them. You can do a cloud-based system. So all of your memory, right, would be stored in the cloud. So mm -hmm. internet-based, right? That's the case. I did them right there in the panel. Okay. You'd use a POE switch. You'd sign up for a service, right? Usually, it's a monthly charge for those mm -hmm. services. Okay. Now, if you did more of like a CCTV kind of system, mm -hmm. you have a physical recorder, mm -hmm. which depending on, you know, the channels and terabytes can vary, mm -hmm. right? But it's going to be more upfront because you're paying for that, right. but there's no monthly charge. Right. right? It's like so, a VCR, like the old fashioned VCR. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right? So like you put it somewhere in the closet or something. Exactly. It, yeah. Right. And some people would like, for example, if this is going to be your main office hub, they'll put it there mm -hmm. and then you can HDMI it to like a monitor or something. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. At the same time, it's going to have an app on your phone. So if you wanted to airplay it to a TV, you could. Okay. Right. Um, but that being said, it really just depends. I mean, if you're going to stay here for 10 years, you're paying 10 bucks a month on a cloud-based service. It's actually going to be more cost efficient just to pay that more upfront for the NVR. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's give and take there. Again, you don't have to make any decisions on that. But I would, you know, throughout the course of this next month and a half or so, mm -hmm. just look about the Wi-Fi cameras. Because if they say you have to change the batteries every six months, you're getting up on a ladder, you know, doing That's all hardwired. Okay. Okay. We have a security bundle, which is a hybrid security system. So all of your doors are wired and then everything else is wireless. So high traffic points, right? You don't have to change them out as often, mm -hmm. right? And then your windows go wireless. But 
again, I mean, in my opinion, that's what I would do if I had all the money in the world to spend. Mm -hmm. But wireless is always going to be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I know I kind of breezed through that, but is there any questions about any of that? No. No. Easy enough. Yeah. Now, this entire section is speakers. The entire section. Uh -uh. Speakers, no. <laughs> what I tell you guys, it skips that entire thing. It yeah. looks a lot more complicated than it is right now. So this is your home control section right here. Kind of cuts off, but this is your home control section. This first package, before I get into any of this, nothing here requires any pre-wiring besides your Wi-Fi access point, and that comes standard pre-wired. Okay. okay. Basically what that means is you can do all of this little by little post closing mm -hmm. if you wanted to, right? The ability to do that is there. Right? But it's more about to do things. Do you want everything on the package? Right? Mm -hmm. If the answer that's yes, then it's how do you want to pay for it? Right? Do you want to wrap it into the total price of your home? Do you want to do it out of pocket post close? Mm -hmm. right? So what it comes with is your Wi-Fi access point and your POE switch, which you were talking about. Mm -hmm. it comes with your Alexa dot, right? which again, plug and play. Right? Smart thermostat, smart garage door opener, uh, and a smart deadbolt. Okay. Right? All of which can obviously be controlled from your phone. Right. Okay. And then it says white globe appointment on there. Basically, that just means once your Wi Fi is installed, we'll come out here and program everything for you. Okay. Okay. Now, these are not the same apps. Okay. So it's not like it'll all be hugged mm -hmm. one place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but if you're only interested in just doing one of these, right, do it post closing, it's not going to cost you four grand to do. Right. Yeah. And so it can be hugged on one app. And that's you what know, I was you getting can at. Price it out with like Vivid, mm -hmm. and they offer that. They offer and the good in, part about that the garage door opener. So right. when I'm, where I'm going is to price it out. Definitely price it out. The other good thing about doing it with one singular company is it's one singular app, mm -hmm. right? So you don't have to flip through my thermostat app and my deadbolt app and this exactly. and that. You can do it yeah. all in one place. Whereas this, that's it's multiple. It's all separate. That's more aggregate. And then the yeah. security will give you the That's one. why I tell right. people, I kind of like, mm -hmm. kind of okay. like wink people. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. that's why I... But nonetheless, all the wiring, everything we need for all these features, right. we will already have. It's there. Got it, right? Okay. So again, that's why I was saying it's more about if you want everything, how do you want to pay for it? Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Next option down, never really recommend this to anybody to start, okay? It is your actual equipment for your Wi-Fi access point and your POE switch, okay? Um, the reason being is how do you know if you need a Wi-Fi booster before you move in and you test your Wi-Fi? Right. Depending on your modem and router that you have, you may have perfect signal under there, uh -huh. right? We already set you up for the ability to do that in the future. So if you ever need one, you can do it yourself. You can give me a call, right? Um, but again, we pre-wire it for that reason of a just in case, okay. right? And so I wouldn't jump the gun on it, okay. right? Because you don't, you really don't know if you need it yet. Right? All right. Move in, test your Wi-Fi. If you need it, you can always give me a call. You can do some research, do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. So really the only time I ever recommend you hardwire something in is things that take a lot of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. right? So if you have a desktop mm -hmm. and you work from home, mm -hmm. definitely would re recommend that you hardwire that. Okay. Right? Uh, gaming systems, those take up a lot of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. Right, everything else, right? Like your iPads, your phones. I mean, you can't really hardwire those in anyway. Right, right. Smart TVs, you can. They don't take a lot of bandwidth. Right, no, right. No, no, no. It's the desktops, it's the gaming systems, it's things like that. Okay. That being said, do you have any you know, desktops or anything like that? So there's gonna be one desktop. Okay. Yeah. One. But even with that, though, the issue that I have, if I go back to corporate America, I have to hardwire. When I'm working from home. So this is needed from my laptop. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be one hard wire for a desktop mm -hmm. CPU. Right. Stay now, there. usually that'd be flex room, I'm assuming, yes. for your office. Mm -hmm. Now, I know this is a long shot, mm -hmm. but we don't have to decide location today. But okay. If you have an idea, I can put it there. Okay. I can always make a note. I mean, I can always change locations. It's not going to cost you anything. Okay. Right? Up until the time we go out and do the work. Okay. Right? Okay. It's more about getting the options on the option sheet so that Pulte can put it into the total price of your home. Got it. Right? Okay. So if you know we absolutely need that, I'll write it down. I'll put it here and I'll just say call before we pull. Okay. Right? So I'll give you guys a call. So that will be called what again? Or what's that is the, the price first of it? option. That's 200 bucks a drop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How common is it for people to put one towards the back patio? So we can. And the reason why you can mm -hmm. is because we have this option here at the bottom, the standard electrical outlet. Okay. Now, Pulte can be wishy-washy about which developments can actually add electrical outlets. 
Okay. So sometimes I'm the only way they can. Okay. And we're not electricians, right? So we just relay that information to electricians. Mm -hmm. But if you look here, in parentheses, it must be paired with the low volt option, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to add a cat six. That's like the cheapest thing that we have. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So if you told me, hey, I want an electrical outlet out there, which I think you do, but depending on how many walls you have out there, I'm not sure if you opted in for the kitchen prep. No, we didn't get the kitchen okay. prep. No. Okay, gotcha. So then what do you have on that left side? Nothing. We just have the extended cover line. Just the wall. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So some people will say, hey, I want to put a TV out here, right? right? So we can add an electrical outlet at five, six feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, you hang it, you can just plug it directly behind it. Mm -hmm. right? You don't have to see that wire. Right. And then I can say, all right, I'll put it there for now, mm -hmm. like on the option sheet, just so I don't get any blowback. But then, right. you know, at that time, I can say, okay, hey, if you want it over on this side, right. just let me know. Right. Got right. it. As long as you got it already covered and approved, so you know what I'm okay. Okay. Exactly. okay. Right? That's, that's good. Okay. Like, it's a time to think about. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right, if yeah. you wanted to hard, is it for hardwiring out there, like your computer? Yeah, like okay. my laptop. If I yeah. wanted to work out on the patio, right, it was right. nice. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, we can definitely add that for you. Okay. Um, And then you can have the electrical outlet if you did plan on doing that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do plan on having a TV out there. We do. Either go really cheap or go with a weather rated. Okay. Don't get a middle of the road TV because if it's raining and the wind blows the wrong way. You're gonna be real upset. Oh yeah, I've I'll seen it where you know I'll tell people that, and then they'll you know go with like a you know twelve hundred dollar TV, but it's not the three thousand dollar weather rated one. Mm -hmm. They're real upset. I'm like, listen, I told you guys. <laughs> I told you there. Um, last thing is the automatic shade pre-wire. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just hardwired pre-wire for the automatic shades. Okay. Obviously, this gets real expensive when you try to do every single window. Yeah. Right. A lot of people, if they're gonna do them anywhere, it's gonna be for your sliding glass door. Mm -hmm. right now one thing i would say about that is your sliding glass door automatic shade is going to be a lot more expensive than that kitchen window mm -hmm. right my company doesn't install automatic shades well obviously we'll run the wires for you mm -hmm. right but we don't install them so if that's something you're interested in maybe call a company say hey i've got a 15 foot window right what would be the price of that before you jump the gun okay right? now again you can always get battery operated ones in the future mm -hmm. right it's not like if you don't get this you can never have it right Again, really the only difference between hardwired and battery is you change a battery or you don't. Right. I don't recommend it for any other window. That's why well, I that point we pay for blinds for a thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So, Got it. So again, something to think about there. Yeah, I'll mark it down. Nice. As well as just a. And it's two hundred. You said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's two hundred a location, but again, right. we'd but run. That would be we'd run it. A location. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Now. Same thing with like these two windows. You could consider that one location too, because you could get one that stretches across the two, or you could do oh. singles, right? Um, but again, for your sliding glass door, I mean, it's just going to be more expensive than a bedroom window, mm -hmm. right? Because it's bigger. So uh, definitely would you know do research if somebody tells you it's like a three and a half grand. So again, this is nothing here set in stone. I'm just writing it for my notes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And you switch the TV wall, right? Perfect. Thank I got an you. arrow for it, but it is already switched over. Got Where's it. your master button? Hmm? Where's your this is the same layout, this kitchen on this side. Right, all but that. I'm saying, like, where, oh, the TV? where did you decide to put it? Oh, this wall, this TV, and then on the behind uh, it. Behind uh -huh. the same wall. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Brand, especially in a home this size. It's a central vac system. You all ever heard of central vac system? That's the yeah. hole in the wall that yes. sucks yes. up. For six grand, I would get a fleet of Roomba robots and never pick up the vacuum <laughs> but, um, For some of our other communities, you know, people grew up with it, can't live without it, so we still offer it. Okay. But yeah, no. not something I personally would recommend unless you have a, I don't know, 6,000 square foot home and you yeah. don't want to lug around a vacuum. Yeah, no, right? The Roomba's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got one eye robot and that thing does <laughs> wonders for they're, me, they're, so. they're good, yeah. The Roomba's good. So easy enough, guys. And Callie's at school. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't ride on it. <laughs> he might think it's a scooter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So easy enough. Okay. So then when it comes to actual extra sockets and all that stuff, we'll go over that in the design center. Right. And again, so that's pretty much it with low voltage i hope you guys found this video very informative just like i did and again stay tuned for our next video